Mr. Marinescu, was it? Uh, Marinescu. There is no N. Oh, sorry about that. But it has been a while, hasn't it? You can't blame me for forgetting now, can you? Today's task is to calculate the distance between two points in two-dimensional space without using the math library. What? You get the distance between two points by first getting the difference on x and then the difference on y. Then, using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that c squared is a squared plus b squared. So we need to get the square root, and that's inside the math library. I'm positive. I've implemented this countless times. I even made videos about it, and... What is that noise? I hope you're already tackling the root of the problem. Three minutes left. The root. Of course. I can't use the math library, but I can implement my own. Using a version of binary search, I can narrow in on the root of the value with each iteration. If the square of the root is greater than the value, then I search towards the left. Otherwise, I search towards the right. My square root function will call this binary search in the interval from 0 to n. The square root of n must be in there. One minute left. Not a problem. I just need to implement the distance formula. I've done this countless times. I could even do it blindfolded. I'm getting the job. I'm getting the job. Time is up. Let's see how you did now, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Huh? No, 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 no. I accidentally called the square root from the math library instead of the one I just made. Must be some kind of muscle memory from implementing it so many times. I specifically no, said not I, to use uh, the math library. Better luck next time! Check out the code in the description. And yeah, I know, in real you never need to implement the square root function. But there are two lessons here. First, at an interview, you may actually be asked something like this. My students often complain to me that they're asked things they will never use in their actual job if they get it. And second, even if you don't need to know how to implement the square root function, it's important to know that it does something complicated like this. It's not something simple like plus or minus. It's slower than that and you should use it sparingly if possible. Like in my video about the Pythagorean theorem where I show you how to avoid using the square root when handling distances. Please like and share this video if you learned something today. See you guys.